Good morning, welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 274 today. Uh, we've got our painters all on site. Uh, so four of them here today. Um, we are shooting for, from what I hear from the workers, they are shooting for a completion sometime this week. Um, painters, I believe, will be shooting for Wednesday. And then we've got a carpenter and the master painter coming back in on Thursday projected. Um, to do final touch-ups on the cabinets and doors uh, and doorknobs uh, throughout the house. Um, so let's walk around and look at see where the four painters are that are starting today that are working today and let's get started. Um, I need to start off today with a Mia culpa. <laughs> mia culpa, mia culpa, mia maxima culpa. In other words, my fault, my fault, my most grievous fault. Um, I haven't done shout outs for quite a while. Um, and I was supposed to do one last week for somebody's birthday. I feel really bad. I just caught it this morning and I'm about three days late. Uh, so let me get started with that one particularly first. Uh, for to Ronald and Bina Ramos uh, from Fresno, California. Thank you for being part of the ch channel. Uh, comments, suggestions, um, interacting with us on this uh, adventure. Um, happy belated birthday to Bina. Uh, her birthday was back on 5 April, oh, 5 February. I missed it. Sorry. <laughs> um, others, uh, Dave Cooley in Mountain View, California. Um, welcome. Uh, same with uh, Leslie Robinson in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, so thank you guys for uh, joining the channel. Uh, see you down in the comments. So starting off out here on the uh, perimeter fence, perimeter wall, uh, Mr. Stanley is doing the border work first. Uh, getting down along the edges so that when he comes back through with the roller, he doesn't have to worry about uh, getting the roller down in the grass or hitting the, the sides of the fence posts. Uh, so he's got about half of it left to do today. And at some point I'm gonna need to close the uh, gate so that he can get the uh, touch-ups behind it as well. Um, then there's Mr. Ricky here in the garage and we are working on the second coat of uh, paint again after all of the uh, minor touch-ups that you saw him working on on Saturday. All right, looks like Mr. Um, JR was starting out here in the bathroom and for the laboratory for Jack and Jill, this is laboratory number three and he started out initially with uh, doing a little touch-up up here on the ceiling. Uh, so he just put the uh, skim coat here around the edges and over here by the uh, pin light uh, so we'll let that dry a little bit and then he'll come back in and uh, do a little sanding on it and retouch the paint uh, so he's doing that throughout the house and I hear music upstairs which tells me Mr. Henry is upstairs doing uh, a little bit of touch up up here as well yes there's Mr. Henry doing touch up so we had some spaces around the outside edge of the uh, air conditioned units and that's what he's working on doing touch up on. Different places throughout. All right, this fine, beautiful, sunny Monday morning and our interior of the perimeter fence has all been repainted to the correct colors. And our garage is getting the final bit of touch up. Mr. Ricky has been working on up here, uh, right here along the top corner. Did an amazing job. This looks great all the way around. And Mr. JR is doing a little bit of touch up out here for us on the uh, front entryway. Looking good all the way around. I get out of his way so he can get back to work. <laughs> All right, let's go see what Mr. 
Henry's doing back here. I heard him. That's been completed. Let's see where else Mr. Henry could be. The cabinets down underneath the uh, sink have been completed as well. Let's continue just do a little walk around until we can find Mr. Henry. That one's been done. That one's been done. Hi guys. <laughs> and I'm guessing he's upstairs because there's a bucket of paint. Probably going to be him and Mr. Stanley. So, yep. There's Mr. Henry taking apart the uh, scaffolding slash sawhorse. So we had a little bit of touch up done down here. It looks a lot better now. Same thing over here. All good. All right. All right. Um, the guys have been busy today. A lot of the painters have been busy. Uh, they are working on the big punch list that I left behind. Um, point of note, and probably something I myself need to adhere to a little better sometimes, um, there's a difference between be having an attention to detail and being overly picky. Um, understand it is a house, most people are going to look at it from a 20 foot distance anyway, even on the inside. So while we've seen this house every square inch day to day, not everybody else is going to look at it that closely. Um, yes, we are paying the money. We should be able to demand the, the type of um, finish that we're after. However, some things just start getting to the nth degree and won't make a big difference later on. So um, how is it they used to tell us? Learn where to pick your battles. Um, so something uh, I'm kind of really talking to myself here because um, some of the things that I put on the list um, I'm coming to, to realize we're probably being a little nitpicky um, so with that um, we're trying to make sure that we hit the big things um, that is going to be glaringly obvious uh, to anybody that walks in the door as opposed to the little things that only we are going to see because we're so intimate with the build um, so keep that in mind uh, uh, moving forward, even on your, your build, if you happen to do one this way. Um, have an attention to detail without being nitpicky. So it'll be easier on you as well as the, uh, the workers. Um, so everybody's uh, stress levels can come way down. Lower stress levels are better, especially during the finishing stages. Um, so, let's uh, walk around and see what everybody's working on at the moment. So we got Mr. Stanley, he's uh, going around doing a little bit of retouch on the uh, top of the fence walls. Uh, remember he did all the, the inside and out, now he's doing a little retouch on the top. Um, so okay, um, also Mr. Ricky has been going around and doing touch up paint on our window, uh, window frames. Uh, some of them over time had some pieces that just uh, cracked and uh, fell off. So he's already done this section and it looks fantastic from the area, especially from way out here where everybody's going to be looking at it. All right, guys, it's uh, a little early, but it's yabba dabba do time. The guys uh, went for their afternoon merienda and apparently got the call from the boss. Um, all the painting has been completed for touch-ups, um, so the rest of the stuff that will be going on, um, they'll be doing a little bit of cleanup starting tomorrow, and then on Wednesday, we may have uh, a couple more guys show up, the, the carpenter and the, uh, the other painter that does the varnish work, uh, Mr. Andy, so it'd be Mr. Andy and Mr. Allen, uh, we're expecting them on Wednesday. Um, so. Um, the videos may be combined for Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, I'll have to play it by ear and see how much, uh, how much um, information or how much footage I get for tomorrow. 
uh, content, that's the word I was looking for, how much content I get for tomorrow uh, before um, putting it out. So, all right. If y'all like today's video, I know it was kind of short, uh, give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Costa Text Penis Star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen. You'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again next time, have a great afternoon and God bless. <music>